Okay, welcome back to our normal distribution example with Brooke and her bike. So we're going to go on to number four. So it says Brooke decides she wants to focus her research on high-end bikes that cost a minimum of $800. What is the probability that she randomly selected a bike that costs more than $1,300? Okay, so this is a conditional probability. We're still looking at this distribution, but we know that the bikes that she's looking at are going to cost over $800. So what we can put up here, give me a second, here we go, probability that our random variable is going to be greater than $1,300, and we can say given, given that the bike in fact does cost more than $500. Okay, so we've got a given statement, and if we remember, so kind of, let me give you a review real quick. Probability of A given B is going to be equal to the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of B. So we can get this written out in that format. It's going to be the probability of our random variable being greater than 1300 and greater than, oops, sorry, random variable greater than 500. And we're going to divide by the probability of it being greater than 500. Okay, let's give her a whirl. I'm going to move this guy up. So let's do a little bit of graphing for what we're actually looking for. So first one, when we look at just our normal distribution, we can say that, okay, we want to be both greater than 500 and greater than 1300. So really, we're just looking for this area of being greater than 1300. So let's go highlight that first. Let's go back to our normal distribution. And here we go, we want to go from, we'll go 1300, and we'll click OK. Okay, so this is our first one, which is the probability of being greater than 1300 and probability of being greater than 500. Okay, great, we got our first one. Now we need just the probability of being greater than 500. I'm going to include that. You can actually shade multiple areas at once. So we'll go back to plotting. And I'll say 500 to 2,000. And we'll change this color. Yeah, we'll do like this purple color. Click OK. And we'll click OK. Oh, well, it looks like it plotted right over top. I guess it matters the order. Let's go do that again. Normal distribution, plot normal distribution. Okay, let's change this one to be the 500 and then this one to be the 1300. Yeah, let's give that, a, oh, not 500. What am I talking about? The problem says 800. So let's fix that. 800, and then I'll fix it down here in just a second. Excuse me. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. So 800 to 2,000, and then 1,300 and above. Okay. So down here, I definitely need to fix this. Make that an 8. Make this guy an 8. And make this guy an 8. Okay. Now I think we're good to go. So we need to find these two probabilities and divide them by each other. It's not too shabby. Here we go. So I'm going to go to my distributions. Go back to my probabilities. And I've got, yep, I've got the mean and the standard deviation. Now I need to know, okay, what's greater than 800 and comma. And I also want to know greater than 1300. Okay, and I'm going to do upper tail on this because I want greater than 800, greater than 1300. That works. I'll click OK. And it should give me, yeah, these two values right here. This one's the probability of being greater than 800, probability of being greater than 1300. And now I need to do this greater than 1300 and 800 divided by the 
probability of being greater than 800. Awesome, here we go, equals, or maybe I'll just do it over here. Yeah, we'll do the greater than 13. And we'll divide that by this guy. And say equals. And I get about 21%. So let me copy that. And over here, we get this value. Now, if we go and we look, and we see, okay, we're just going to consider from the red over, we want to see, okay, what percent of the graph is this purple part? And we say, well, yeah, that purple part looks like it covers about a fifth of what the red is covering. So that is a good value. And we see that we did our conditional probability correct. That this is the, that if, you know, we know that the bike is going to cost more than 800, or at a minimum of 800, what's the probability that a randomly selected bike is going to cost more than 1300? So just a conditional probability given statement. And the process that we used for the uniform is identical to the process that we used for the normal distribution, which is nice. It holds for all sorts of distributions. Anyways, hope that helps out. Good luck.